Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be talking about how to manifest when you don't actually believe. And I'm here to tell you, as long as you are repeating your techniques, whether it is affirming or visualizing, or just reminding yourself that it is already done, I don't care if you believe it or not, it's already done. It's period, like it's already a reality in your life life before i get into it you are more than welcome to subscribe on this channel i talk about all things self-development so if that sounds good to you you know that i would love to have you here many people may tell you that you have to believe what it is that you're manifesting but i am here to tell you that you don't need to believe a little bit of a tip on what I did to manifest every single thing that I did, I just visualized it and felt as if, you know, it would be nice if I had this thing, but never did I believe 100% that that was gonna be mine. I did have an inner knowing, like it felt like it was the right next natural step for me, right? But I didn't feel so confident in it that like I would literally gamble my firstborn baby for it. You know what I mean? Like honestly, and I have manifested things where I was like, this is absolutely ridiculous. And it still came into fruition because I was repeating my affirmations. I was visualizing, I was doing all of the things. As long as you understand, the fundamental truth that it is whatever I say it is. I have this thing. I am a millionaire. I have a million subscribers on YouTube. I am a successful, popular filmmaker in Hollywood. You can feel so ridiculous manifesting that, but as long as you know that that is the fundamental truth, period, point blank, like, there is nothing stopping you from getting this manifestation. It literally does not matter. I don't care about the bridge of events. Whatever it's gonna take for you to get it, whether it's right now or in 60 years, it's going to happen. But it's going to happen right now because we are master at manifesting. Ultimately, we do not need to know and believe that we have this thing right now. The one thing that I can tell you is if it helps, I would suggest to start small. So for example, if you are manifesting being in a relationship with your SP, I don't want you to feel bad for just wanting to manifest a text. Honestly, if that is what is making you happy, if that is what is the easiest thing that doesn't give resistance to you, do that. Manifest a text. I want to just say this upfront right now. Whatever feels good for you, whether it is about manifesting or your life in general, no matter how much your friends are laughing at you, your mom is telling you that you are making the worst possible decision in your life, listen. No one can tell you how you feel on the inside, right? So as long as it feels right and natural for you, if it is as silly as manifesting a text, that is not silly. Nothing is silly, nothing is wrong if it is the number one thing that sets your soul on fire, as corny as that sounds. If you can't imagine possibly manifesting, sleeping in bed with the person that you love, the person that you wanna be in a relationship with, I'm here to tell you right now, we need to stop making ourselves feel bad for not believing in that. That's okay. You are a human. You are a human being. You are the most normal person on this planet for feeling that. Every single feeling that you have on this planet is validated and it is okay. It doesn't matter if it is about manifesting at this point or anything, honestly. Do what makes you feel confident and happy and excited to manifest. If manifesting sleeping with your boyfriend your future boyfriend because you know in my head i'm already manifesting for you it's like period per it's already done but you know if that feels unnatural for you don't do that if you get genuinely excited you get goosebumps you're like holy shit like yes like this is my person if you manifest like just a small little text that's like hi if that is what hypes you up do that honestly start small i can manifest to be a millionaire tomorrow I can manifest getting a dollar tomorrow. No matter how big or small it is, whether it is in a second or in 50 years, nothing matters. You can manifest anything. You can learn to expand your consciousness. You can learn how to be less resistant to manifesting becoming a millionaire overnight. But at the same time, we are giving ourselves compassion. If it doesn't feel natural to me, I'm not going to do it because I respect myself. I give myself compassion like, I'm a human after all and like manifesting is 
a thing like it's a huge thing that people don't know about so if i don't feel comfortable to manifest a million dollars right now i'm not going to do that no matter if it is a button or an elephant if it feels good for you like if it excites you right now to manifest 1 million subscribers take advantage of that do you know what i mean like but if you feel uncomfortable with that and you're like okay i'm just gonna manifest like 1000 subscribers i can realistically see that that can be potentially a possibility for me like it might feel a little bit like out of reach but at the same time like it's you know it kind of excites me you know what i mean like it would be cool if that happened bitch do what excites you the most that is the most important thing like this is what turned me off law of assumption for a couple of months i'm not gonna lie but you know i am back to the law of assumption because the fact that y'all are so like against the law of attraction really turned me off for such a long time like i'm a very feeling oriented person i'm very creative i follow my heart more than anything and so when I feel the feeling as though I have this thing right now, like how would I feel if I had 100,000 subscribers? I would feel like I had purpose. Like I would feel like I would be helping genuinely people. I'd feel successful. I would feel like whatever it is that I'm posting is, you know, watched and valued and appreciated. I would feel passionate and I would feel inspired to post more and I would feel seen. So those are the feelings that I, would have if i had a hundred thousand subscribers now when i am thinking about those feelings i'm actually starting to feel them because i'm imagining myself going into that space going into that chapter of my life when i feel that like i feel like my soul is about to jump out of my body because you are on this video right now i am assuming that you love the law of assumption so i don't really have to delve deep into this tip but like affirmations like they are really powerful like no matter if they're robotic and you don't understand and you don't feel and you don't even like see how can it possibly happen that i have a hundred thousand subscribers how can it possibly happen that i'm married to this person that i love how can it possibly happen that i am you know the top you know person in my office or having straight a's or going to stanford being accepted to harvard like how could it possibly happen you don't need to believe that like you can literally just affirm i'm going to harvard i'm going to stanford I am the head of this department. You can fucking do it. Like you can literally just affirm from morning to nighttime. Okay, this is what I say for everything. It doesn't have to be visualization. It can literally be anything. Like it can literally be just like scripting. As long as you have a straight 17 second period where you feel and you know that it is your reality right now. Anything over 17 seconds doesn't matter. Like I could not care as long as you have those 17 seconds as long as you genuinely for those 17 seconds feel like you have that thing right now it's done it's done period like i was out with my friend and she really is like wanting to get into this specific place and i was like it's done it's already done and i was like you know like i'm going to manifest like i'm going to go to sleep right now and like the one thing that i'm going to manifest is this thing for her because she really wants it and like i really want it for her but at the same time it's like you don't care about it i don't care about it no one cares about it do you know why do i care that i have hair on my head no because i have hair on my head and it looks good right now so it's like why would i care that you have this position at this place why would you care that you have this position like you are you know proud of it because you achieved it but like it's already done so it's like why do i need to do anything else like why do you need to do anything else why are you worried about this like you have this thing right now you have to do the same thing with yourself like no one understand that like it's already done okay update on my friend you guys she got the internship literally the next morning she was like girl i did not get any internships before this and this specific one was on my top top priority on my list and I was like, yeah, girl, because I manifested it. Like, what do you mean? Listen, you can manifest anything. As long as you have a clean slate and you know that everything is neutral, you can get anything that you want right now. Decide what is the truth for you. And that is what is going to become the truth for you. My friend got an internship. Period. So... Uh... Law of assumption, people don't want you to hear this, but I'm gonna say it regardless because I am 
such a visual person. Like, you guys don't understand. Like, every single law of assumption person is like, fuck visualizing. Affirm, think, whatever. And that caused so much resistance in me. And now it's kind of helping me. Like, it literally just depends on your journey like what feels right for you but for years i was like just like affirming like fuck off like i need to visualize you need to feel as if you have this not in five years not in two weeks right now how is it gonna feel if you had it right now visualize if you're a visual person like i am how does it feel how do i look like and you actually feel it and it's like a hundred percent you are just condensed feeling this feeling and like it's so clear to you you will get this thing in 24 hours like i'm being so dead ass with you guys the next thing is taking inspired action now no matter if you are using affirmations or visualizations or sats or you know whatever it doesn't matter what technique you use or if you just say it is whatever i say it is irregardless no matter what you do you have to take inspired action you don't have to like be in tune be intentional with your intuition i reached out to specific people in new york and now we're super close it was like the next logical step in my life it's the same thing as like if you finish your hsc if you finish your exams like in your final year of high school and you just know that you have to apply for somewhere in college you have to apply to Penn State, you have to apply to Stanford, you have to apply for a community college, like whatever, it doesn't matter. Like, but you just know, like you just know inside of yourself that you need to do this. Same thing as if you're like, I don't wanna go to college, like, I wanna take my gap year, I wanna go to Rome, I wanna go to Greece, I wanna like travel the entire world. That feels like the next logical step for you because that's what it was meant for you. So take inspired action. This is the thing. This is what has helped me my entire life. Like it does not feel like action, guys. It doesn't feel forced. It doesn't feel like you're like, oh, I'm plotting and scheming to do all of these things. Like I would rather do this thing than sit on my bed and do nothing. Like it is the most natural thing to do. You know what I mean? So that is what inspired action is. And that is what helped me so much. In conclusion, manifesting what you want without believing in it can be challenging but it is not impossible start small focus on what it is that you want visualize affirm take inspired action do what feels right for you and i will guarantee that within 24 hours you're going to get exactly what it is that you want manifestation is the process and it takes a little bit of time i mean give yourself some compassion some leeway it is hard for people that's understandable keep practicing and don't give up because i promise that you will see results so i hope that this video gave you some form of clarity don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because i know that you loved it and i will see you in the next video bye guys